Hello, I'm Lena Taro. Let's take a look at how to use the TI-8384 calculator to create a least squares regression line. I've already entered data in my calculator in list 1 and list 2. In list 1, we have the miles driven for Ford F-150 Super Crew 4x4 trucks, and in list 2, we have the price of those trucks. Obviously, the more miles a truck is driven, the lower its price will be. Let's create a regression equation. To do this, we'll go to Stat, Calc, and I'm going to choose option 8 for linear regression. Notice option 4 also is for linear regression. The only difference between these is whether A is the slope or the y-intercept. I'm going to choose option 8. My data is stored in list 1 for my x's, so I'll hit list 1, then comma, list 2, so second 2, that's where my y's are stored, and then I'm going to have it store the equation in y1. To do this, I'll hit vars, y vars, and choose function y1. Notice we have a y-intercept of about 38,000 and a slope of negative 0.16. However, we don't see the values for r and r squared here. What that probably means is that your diagnostics has been turned off. To get the diagnostics turned on, I'm going to hit mode. I'm going to scroll down to the very bottom here where it says stat diagnostics and I'm going to turn that on. While I'm here, I'm also going to turn the stat wizards on. You have this option if you have operating system 2.55. Let's hit second mode or second quit to get out of there. Let's do that regression again. Stat over to calc. Choosing option 8, notice we have a template to fill in. I'm going to say store the equation in y1, so again vars, y vars, function y1, and I'll go down to calculate. Notice we also have the values for r squared and r. Let's take a look at the scatter plot with the line graphed over it. Zoom, stat. I would say that this line is a fairly good fit. We can see points are equally scattered above and below the line. 